Hello friends, my name is Katie from Eternal Flame and today I thought I'd share with you a quick flip through of my Hobonichi weeks for 2022. I have quite a bit of weekly spreads in my Hobonichi weeks that I need to catch up on so we'll see how far I get through today. I think I have six spreads which I'm likely not to hit um, but in doing so I also wanted to tie in some of my newly hauled items that I picked up in my travels through Berlin, Paris, as well as my most recent haul from Hobonichi for 2023. So if you're interested in hearing a talk through and flip through in my Hobonichi weeks, please stick around. Thanks everyone. Alrighty, so one of the first things I picked up is actually this sweater. <laughs> It's actually a champion sweater um, or hoodie that I picked up for my husband at Nordstrom Rack, I think, for $7 when I was in Washington, D.C. I am borrowing it today because um, I left the United States and it was so hot and humid. And when I came back, it was actually like in the 60s. So that's number one. Number two is actually kind of fun as well. I've been dying to show you all uh, my little unicorn that I picked up from H&M Home in Paris uh, during my trip. I got one for my friend and one for myself, so we have little twins. Um, and I was wondering what should I name her? So I was thinking maybe a French name uh, because she was from Paris. So if you guys have any recommendations for a name, please feel free to leave your recommendation in the comment section down below. I'm so excited and would love to hear your thoughts. I kept the tag on here for you guys so that I can share with you how much I paid. Um, as much of you probably know, right now the conversion between USD and the Euro is about one to one. So I paid five euro for this little cutie um, it was really funny there's a long story to it but essentially i saw this in someone's window at work and asked my husband to find a way to get it to me and while i was in paris traveling with my friend i saw it and took it upon myself to get it for myself um, but actually apparently there's an h&m home in manhattan so perhaps that's where the person at work got it all right so having said all that i guess i will switch gears now into the flip through portion of this video and do at least one or two spreads so i don't actually know where i last left off um, so i'm just gonna do a quick flip through of the 34th week here which i think i did cover into the 35th week um, life's been crazy hectic so you can see in these weeks here that um, there's a lot less being tracked when it comes to my daily tasks um, and checking them off as I go and also as you can see here on the bottom right of my 35th week I tried to create a running task list to help keep me focused and it obviously didn't work <laughs> so um, yeah, I have nothing really done here. The only thing that I did succeed on this week was actually shopping. I was doing a ton of shopping in Georgetown in Washington, D.C. to prepare for my upcoming trips for work and spent way too much money um, hoping to cut back now that I'm back in New York. What I loved about this spread was my ability to not only prepare the spread on the go, so while I was in Washington, D.C., but also the fact that I was able to utilize some of the washi tape that I picked up in DC as well as my newly hauled Midori stickers from Jenny Bick. Um, they are my absolute favorite. They're so expensive so I hate that I love them but uh, you can get them. Cheapest I've seen is on jet pens so definitely check them out. This sticker sheet was coffee based I think the theme so you get a little coffee beans a little cookie and then so I used these two coffee cups to mark a coffee date that I had with a mentor I guess you can say so that's what I have here loving these stickers I love the feel and I love that they're just slightly thicker than the washi stickers um, from Amazon so quality wise are excellent and they have like this beautiful matte finish that I love to touch <laughs> same thing here with these little flags all right so that takes us into the 36th week of 2022 where I actually believe that I filmed somewhat of a 
plan with me in this spread and this was me preparing for my trip to germany things that i bought in germany i tracked on this spread here i actually don't think i took my hobonichi weeks with me to germany because i was trying to pack everything into a carry-on uh, long story short i ended up buying another carry-on and having to check one in on the way home but anyways <laughs> besides the point once again i used some of those midori coffee themed stickers to track the dates that i had coffee dates with um, some of my colleagues at work so it was a lot of fun spending some time in dc and getting to know people so that's what i have here i also used um, some of my midori sticky notes as you can see here to mark when my hobonichi 2023 haul was supposed to arrive and so since we're on that i think this would be a great opportunity to tie in this cover so if you are interested in seeing it i have already filmed and posted my haul for 2023 from the 1101 hobonichi site this was one of those items i'm going to try to find this on amazon and link it in the description box down below but the reason i wanted to share this with you all today is because i actually very i think spontaneously decided to take this with me on a work trip right after i filmed the haul video and opened up my 2023 supplies and i threw it in my bag and shoved my hobonichi weeks mega sneaker for work for 2022 in it i went to a conference and absolutely fell in love with this cover i didn't want to buy it i didn't want to invest but i made the decision to do it because I was paying for shipping anyway and doing this large order so i was like you know katie just do it so i kind of threw it in the basket last minute and luckily it made the final cut because i had to put my order in twice because the first time it fell through when i converted from japanese to english it was really weird anyways long story short i'm so so happy with this cover i it's a lot softer i think someone has mentioned that in one of their videos it's a lot softer than i expected because i think it's a faux leather um definitely if you get a close-up on it it definitely looks like some of the faux leather purses that I've purchased in the past that are quite hard and plastic feeling. So I was concerned about that, but I wasn't so concerned because um, I work in the field and so it's pretty dirty sometimes. Uh, so I was just like, you know what, just go for it. What I loved about this was not only that it fits the Hobonichi Weeks Mega so perfectly and snug, um, but it also fits my fountain pen here on the side i can close it up and it looks so professional i was running around in the conference and i was able to stick this under my arm um, as i was running from meeting to meeting and if you need to carry business cards and things so you really could um, clip this on here so that's what i actually did i used the clip here to clip it on um, but if you receive or have to carry business cards around you can slip them in here which is fantastic and uh, to correct my from the unboxing or haul video a lot of you corrected me thank you so much for chiming in that this zipper pull here is extra small so that it doesn't dent my hobonichi weeks um, there's a bunch of pockets here where you can stick in i don't know anything from sticky notes like my midori sticky notes to um, maybe a sticker sheet or two and so anyways i have nothing but praise for this cover i highly recommend it if you're thinking about it um, or if you got it yourself please feel free to share your thoughts in the comment section down below so while i was in germany i picked up all the things i actually bought an extra carry-on to carry all of the things back a lot of them were gifts for my friends and loved ones and family uh, and a lot of it was really heavy chocolate but anyways long story short i also picked up a ton of items from um Oh, sorry stationary items while i was there so the first item i'm gonna go or first two items i'm gonna go over are actually things that i received from my friend as a gift so thank you so much to sarah huge shout out to her she bought us matching um it's actually the person that i got matching unicorns with she got us matching notebooks here with a little ampelman i was absolutely obsessed and she knew it uh, so she got herself a notebook and one for me as well um so I'm, i fell in love with the color um it's just like this very mint light green and i actually even bought myself a i guess a notebook 
that I want to share with you all as well, but I'll, I'll keep that for later. So she got me one of these, as well as this awesome washi tape from Tokidoki. Uh, it was so thoughtful of her. She also got me some other items that I don't actually have handy with me right now, but I'm very excited to use them, use the washi tape and try it out in one of my spreads. Can you see it? Very cute. So I'm gonna set that aside. She also got me this, um, this artist's dual nib marker set that I've never tried before. I'm so excited to test it out. Um, yeah, so hopefully I will probably include this in one of my following videos. Alrighty, so next up would be my fountain pens. Of course, you know my favorite Pilot Vanishing Point um, pen here with the EF nib that I like to pair with my D. Antrimentis Archive ink. Actually, this time around, I think it has this very beautiful orangey brown color here um, from, let's see if memory will serve me. I think it was Urban Fountain ink, but uh, maybe don't hold me to that. <laughs> Um, so in addition to this favorite fountain pen of mine, um, which is actually made in Japan, I bought a few German-made fountain pens. So I went to the store and I asked the associate, I think I, I did a kind of a video on this, on his recommendations. And I am sad to say that I actually did not expand my collection to include a Lamy yet. Uh, that was definitely the easy... Um, I think expansion option and I walked away without one. I also thought about getting I think an iridescent pearlescent type uh, Caveco mini sport um, but elected not to because I can actually order that here in America. So what I did instead was I bought two fountain pens for myself, one for my friend. I got this Faber-Castell um, with the EF, is it, is it EF nib? Here. It's so interesting because if you can see the nib actually points downward over here And so I'm very interested to see how uh, my handwriting will Change based on that. I love that it has a little clip here that you can kind of push down and it raises up I love the small profile. It's great for my tiny hands So I'll put it next to the pilot vanishing point so you can see how much slimmer this one is the other one that I got that I've been absolutely loving, I've taken for a test run, is this Caveco Special with the uh, EF nib as well. And actually the sales associate was so kind to have swift, uh, swapped sorry, the feather out for EF as you can see here. Can you see that? I don't know if it's focusing. I believe I paired this with Diatrimentis Archive ink before I left for my conference. And this was a great pen to kind of slip into the side here and as well as this beautiful leather case that I picked up from Germany as well. Definitely treated myself. I thought that this color would go wonderfully with the brown leather clip that I picked up from my friend and I, as well as the tree theme of my Hobonichi Weeks for 2023. All right, so then the next four items are fountain inks. I picked up two smaller urban ones. I picked this up in Germany. They're actually from France, I would think. <laughs> um, in these two different colors here. I don't know how to pronounce them, but essentially it's like this gray blue color and this grayish purple color that I thought was really exciting and fun. So I'll probably add this to my wall grid um, to kind of remind myself how many fountain inks that I have to try out. So I'm trying to figure out which color to load up my Faber Castell in because I did finally order um, converters for it. So if you guys have any suggestions, maybe I will leave it up to you to which one I try next. But the other two would be this beautiful Sunrise Orange Caveco ink as well as the Midnight Blue Caveco ink. All right, I think this is more like a purpley gray. I would say it looks like my nails, but it doesn't. It's more of like a purple and blue. So I'm gonna set this all aside and then show you the next spread. After I show you the next spread, I'll probably share just a few more items that I picked up in my travels. All right, so the 37th week, as you can see, I actually set up after I had returned back to the United States. I had one day here before I shipped out for my conference. And so I just played around with some of my brush pens and some of my stickers, and honestly just used a bunch of stickers from all the different uh, sticker sheets that I had lying around that were left over from previous spreads and so you'll see that they don't really match <laughs> I really did love this sticky club sticker sheet that had more of like a cottage 
theme to it and coffee theme so that's what you'll see here if you saw the actual sticker sheet itself this is also from there in the lights they actually i think are more um spooky halloween themed but i seem to select the ones that weren't potions and ca cauldrons <laughs> So that's that's what we have here and I journaled a little bit about how things were going how the conference went and one thing that really spoke to me was uh, when someone mentioned like reminded me something that really is something I live by is that in order to be a great leader you must first learn how to follow and so that's what I have here I kept track of the days that I posted which wasn't very often <laughs> So you'll see that date night, the one night I had with my husband in a month, in a month, it felt like months. <laughs> All right, so I think I'm gonna save these spreads for another video because it's quite long now. Um, and you know what? I will share one more item and save the rest for the next video as well. So the one item that I did want to share with you all that I mentioned earlier is actually this, um, this customized notebook that I picked up. It's a little stained here because I, in travel i put it in a bag with like red paper so that's really sad i'll try to get it out later maybe with the tide pen or something um, but no worries you know i think it adds to the uh, weathered loved look of it <laughs> but as you can see it just so happens to tie in with this cute little notebook not something that i planned um, but yeah so i purchased this i think it was 26 euro and it's from this brand that i misspoke about last time called semicolon i think i said silicone it's totally wrong uh semicolon and it's a german designed brand i think their items are actually made in austria um, but do not quote me on that. And so I do have footage that I'll include probably in my vlog through Berlin of how this notebook is customized here to include Eternal Flame, which is the very first time I think I've ever done that. So I was really excited. I love the color. I knew that by selecting a light color, um, it would show a lot of the, um, I guess, stains and things, so yeah. Alrighty, so that's basically all I have for today. Um, as always, I do want to take a very quick moment to thank you all so very much for taking the time to watch my video today. If you made it to the end, thank you once again. <laughs> I very much appreciate your time and hope that if you enjoyed this video, you'll let me know by giving the video a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed already, I hope that you decide to join us as well. Thank you so much and until next time, bye everyone.